Welcome to Chapter 3 of our story, where the vibrant celebration of the Day of the Dead unfolds in a small village. The air is filled with the sounds of laughter and music as villagers gather in the bustling square. The ground is carpeted with marigold petals, their sweet scent mingling with the aroma of traditional foods. The sun casts a golden hue over the scene, creating a warm and inviting atmosphere. Join us as we delve into this chapter, where tradition meets the supernatural, and a young girl named Sochil prepares to confront the legendary spirit, La Llorona. Stay tuned as the story unfolds, revealing the courage and determination that lies within. As the Day of the Dead celebration continues, Sochil stands at the edge of the square, her heart pounding with a mix of excitement and dread. Her long, dark hair is adorned with marigold flowers, framing her bright brown eyes that reflect the vibrant energy around her. Beside her, Tomas shifts nervously, his green eyes scanning the jubilant faces of the villagers who dance and celebrate, unaware of the impending confrontation. The sun dips lower, casting elongated shadows that dance like spirits, and Sochil feels the weight of her grandmother's teachings. Abuela Elena's words echo in her mind, urging her to embrace her abilities and stand firm against the darkness. The villagers gather around the altar, their faces illuminated by flickering candles, but Sochil's gaze is drawn to the ancient tree, El Arbal de los Espíritus, where the boundary between worlds thins. Suddenly, a chill sweeps through the square, silencing the laughter and music. The villagers gasp as La Llorona emerges from the shadows, her ghostly figure draped in a flowing white dress. Her long, dark hair obscures her face, but the weight of centuries of sorrow is palpable. Sochil steps forward, her voice trembling yet resolute, as she addresses the spirit. La Llorona, I know your pain. I can help you find peace. The words feel foreign on her tongue, yet they hold a power that ignites a flicker of hope within her. Tomas, standing beside her, squeezes her hand, his earlier skepticism replaced by determination. Together, they face the spirit, the weight of their friendship bolstering Sochil's courage. The villagers watch, their breaths held, as the confrontation unfolds. A battle of wills between a girl discovering her gifts and a spirit bound by grief. As the tension thickens, Sochil reaches deep within herself, recalling the stories and rituals her grandmother shared. She speaks of love that transcends even the darkest sorrows. You are not alone, La Llorona. Your children are remembered. Her voice rings out, clear and unwavering, cutting through the spirit's anguish. In that moment, the air shimmers with possibility, the marigolds at their feet glowing brighter in response to Sochil's plea. The villagers, once paralyzed by fear, begin to murmur, their voices rising in a chorus of remembrance honoring the lost souls that La Llorona seeks. Sochil feels the spirit's pain shift, the darkness beginning to recede as understanding blossoms in the hearts of those gathered. The chapter closes with a sense of resolution as Sochil reaches out, her hand trembling yet steady, bridging the gap between the living and the dead. La Llorona's wail softens, transforming into a whisper of gratitude. And in that moment, the village embraces Sochil's abilities fostering a newfound respect for the traditions that bind them all together.